Hey guys, it's Russell. We just got done with a ride. Uh, just by the title of this video uh, is kind of weird. I actually forgot to post our last <laughs> after the ride video, so I'm gonna put them in one video. So stay tuned for both uh, if you so choose. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for our after the ride video number, what is this, 18? Anyways, bye. This is us checking the light. Ready? Set, go. We're gonna go no light, little light, somewhat more light, maximum light. That was us checking the light. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's Russell and Travis, two guys with bikes. We're here with Christian again. Yeah. We, uh, we finished our night ride that we normally do on Tuesdays. Um, good ride, decent ride, and uh, we're a little out of it tonight, so don't mind us. Um, it was 9.6 miles, the normal loop, well, reverse loop that we normally do, but we have done lately. Yeah. Um, we added a little bit here and there. I got them go off the beaten path with me just so I could check something. Um, it worked out well. It's a very rudy path. Yeah, we Christian and I had to get off towards the end because, uh, unlike Travis, we're not as adventurous going downhill on rooted pit paths. He has a fat bike, is it, in other words. Yeah. You know, and we did have an interesting conversation um, on the way back, <laughs> is if <laughs> Russell got knocked unconscious, at what point could we cut off his thumb so we could use his smartphone? Because his thumb is what turns his phone on. So, <laughs> at what point, un when he's unconscious, are we allowed to cut off the just phone? Just don't think about the part where there's a, a 911 thing, emergency 911 call, just cut off his thumb before you do that. And my answer is, at no point are you able to cut off my thumb to unlock my phone. Just saying. He's saying he he says he doesn't really care about our safety. He want, he doesn't let us cut off his thumb. Yeah. So, but yeah, you know, we just wanted to touch base and tell you guys that we're still up. <laughs> we're still biking. Um, really, it's great time at night. We we're having a good time. Uh, been a busy week uh, yeah. for everyone. Yeah. Um, on the way back, we also chatted about um, a few housekeeping type things. We're planning our bigger ride for the year, so stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. um, we, in, in November, it'll be one year since we started biking, um, an actual coming up with the blog and getting it all in order and getting up the YouTube and everything like that. So in like, I don't know how many weeks away November is, but... Uh, Sit for six weeks, six weeks. It'll be one year. So we're talking about things that we could do to kind of say, one year mark, yay us. Yay, woo! <laughs> and I am uh, 14 miles away from my goal for this year. Um, so I'm very happy about that. My goal was 500 miles, and I'm 14 miles away from that. Um, so I'm hoping to uh, get a video of when that thing hits the 500 mark. Do a little screenshot of my Strava and say, hey, you know, I did it. And my GoPro died. If you guys are still listening to this, have a bikerful day. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, guys, my GoPro is actually literally on 1%, but we forgot our joke. So, Christian. What is the hardest part about learning how to ride a bike? What? The pavement. On that note, good night. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, Russell. One half of two guys with bikes. Travis is in the background. This is test ride number one using this, what is it called? Baby trailer? It is a Toby Kind trailer. It's a two seater, but I only can bring one because my little guy will smother my four week old. So, I just wanted to get a quick little snippet of a what we're trying to do and hopefully have a review for you at the end of this ride <laughs> hey guys Russell and Travis two guys with bikes afternoon as you see it's a little different setting than we normally do um, the reason we did that was we uh, did our maiden voyage with my two-year-old in the instep double stroller seat trailer thing my Bob that you buy at the store um, we built it and we put the kid in it, we buckled it in, and we went for a 10.6, 10.5. 10.2, 10.2. Yeah, 10.2, 10 something mile ride with him today. Um, very warm out today, so we decided to why not go for a bike ride. We're hoping that we could go the 14 miles so I could hit my 500 mile mark and come to find out pulling a trailer with a 30 pound kid in it, not the most easiest thing in the world. Um, Are you calling your kid fat? Oh, well, he's, he's a big kid. He's a big kid. He's a two-year-old. And uh, the trailer itself worked out good. Me and Russell attached to the bike, and luckily it didn't fall off. 
um, because usually when me and Russell attach things <laughs> to stuff, um, we, we are not going to say we're mechanically inclined, but it held on. It went really well. It rolled really well. Uh, Russell, uh, how, do, how do you think it looked? You were behind the bike quite a bit. Get a little nervous on anything? Yeah, uh, I noticed that you have to be mindful of staying in the middle of a sidewalk because the back wheels of the trailer actually come out a good distance from what your bike would go out so if you're not in the middle the chances of you going off the edge of the sidewalk or into a ditch are pretty high um, you just have to be mindful of that and I did hit a couple little things out there you know going around corners and stuff the only thing that I would say is we did just the net in my two-year-old was in it he was actually gonna be in the video but he fell asleep uh, before we returned back to my house so my wife came out and got him and put him to bed uh, before we recorded this video I did notice though that Without this little plastic cover down over the front, that a lot of dirt gets thrown in there. The kid was pretty dirty when he came back. Um, but other than that, this thing worked great. Sturdy, lightweight, easy to move around. I got nothing bad to say about it. Um, it wasn't one of those $300 trailers, just because I can't afford those $300 trailers, but it worked out really well. Yeah, I have no complaints about it either because I wasn't the one pulling, <laughs> pulling well, it. Russell's like, we're going slow. We got to pick up the pace. And I'm going, I can't go any faster. <laughs> It was a lot of a uh, lot of work. <laughs> Aside from that, it, it was a really good ride. Um, we didn't do our normal loop or reverse loop today. Uh, today was actually the 40th anniversary of the Clarence DeMar marathon, half marathon thing um, here in Keene for all of you guys in Keene or the surrounding areas that know it. Um, so we did a little bit of gandering at that. We stopped by at the finish line just to check it out and then we made our way back, uh, which wasn't bad at all. No, it was nice. We didn't go in the woods because we didn't know how the trailer would go in the woods, and we didn't know first time out. We didn't want to take the kid in the trail and get him scared in the woods. So yeah. he did really good, though. He did really good. Didn't fuss, didn't complain, didn't do anything. Yeah, um, did really, really well. Yeah. So Travis, what was your favorite part of the ride? I enjoyed uh, really just going out and feeling the the breeze. I, I like that. I enjoy riding, so I enjoyed the whole actually just actual ride in part. Yeah, I think my favorite part was um, getting to see all the people on the, the trail today because even though we do our loop and people know us on the trail, like getting fresh faces out on the trails, I know it was for the marathon, um, but it was good just seeing people out and about and active. Um, yeah, it's, it's always good. I like the rail trails that we have around here in Keene because a lot of people use them and it's it's good to see families walk in and good to see you know just people out not inside playing video games not inside on the computers out and about yeah um but yeah as always thank you for the subscribes the follows the shares uh we have a lot of things in the works yeah it's and, nice uh, and sunny. we did if you guys are on our facebook page you'll notice that we went to the i went to the pickle fest and uh did the whole shirt and everything let everybody know where we're still out there and about uh if you didn't go to the pickle fest this year this was my first year going it's pretty good. Go next year. It's amazing. Yep. As always, have a bikerful day.